What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And we got a 1963 Tempest convertible here for the 326 under the hood. That's what it came with. This one here's got the power steering. It does not have power braking. It's got the Tempest Stork Trans, which is mounted on the rear end. Pretty cool. We'll be dropping the top. I'll be going over falls. We're gonna be taking it down the road for a test drive. Check out maplemotors.com. I have financing and shipping available. 100 detailed pictures of every car. And I'm doing this every day, but with your help, I can keep doing it. So hit subscribe and share this video. For now, just sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? It's again, we like to play on the channel. Coming across your dash, beautiful, nice and clean. You've got a couple of gauges underneath here. Water battery oil. Check the shifter out on this. The thing's wild, it's just a little nub. Now you can see how that works, you pull it out apart, but you'd have to push to the right. Then you push it up to go in reverse or down to go into drive. Got a few documents over here, which is pretty cool. We'll zoom in. Comes with the car, original documentation. Gonna zoom in for a little bit. You can pause the video, whatever you need. You can check that out. Okay. We'll go ahead and start her up here. This is the first time I've gotten in this car. I pulled it out of the spot right there, parked it here, did a little bit of research before I started my video, and now we're letting her warm up. As you can see, the engine temperature is all the way down. Put our oil pressure on this one. There's your lights, your wipers. We'll be checking out the lights once we're driving down the road. I'll get some outside shots, footage all the way around. We got a blower motor that's blowing down here. Before I take the top down, I'm going to uh, show you the outside, so I don't have to do that later on. Gas gauge is dead on ease, so you know we're stopping to get some fuel. Turn signals, left side, right side. Horn, did you place your bets? If you said it worked, it was wrong. It's not on it. Looking around the interior some more. Your back seat's in good shape. You got the shop manual there in the seat. Your top looks awesome on this one. It's just nice and clean. A little fuzz. We'll go ahead and pull the clips. But before I let it down, like I said, we're gonna look at the outside. The car's warming up anyways. This top looks new. Okay, let's go ahead and drop it down. See if it works. All right, so up and down. Well, don't make sure it's loose there. It got hung on that hood. Let's try it again. The other side's getting hung too. Now come on. There we go, I got it past both sides. Let's try it again. So switch, top is going. There we are. Coming down pretty good. Good deal. We got it down, our seals. Don't look too bad. Coming down with our back window. Good deal. This window over here. We need a little pin in there so the pin goes inside. I don't want to roll it down. Yep. I think that one may be messed up. 
Let's try this one. A little stiff. I'm gonna have to help it. Got the door unlocked. It'd be a lot easier from doing it. Doing it on that side. So it was coming off track a little bit. Now it's good. Actually went down smooth. I'm gonna try it with both hands here. Doesn't seem like this back window is gonna come down, so it needs repair. Let's hit the road and see what else we can find. Okay, getting ready to roll out. Anything I see, you will know about it. Engine temperature is up to 180 before we left now. Full pressure's a bit low on this one. When you rev it, it's coming up to about 35 and 40. Let's see, the shifter is still a bit funny. There it goes. Here's reverse. Just not used to the shifter here. We'll check our brakes. Neutral, drive. Ashtray opened up for us. We're in drive now. Let's try them brakes again. We have silky smooth steering there. Back to reverse. It's a good day to be riding around with the top down. Here we go. Anything I see you'll know about. That's why I'm doing these videos. This is the first time I've personally driven this ride. Let's roll. As we're coming out, when I let go of the steering wheel here, this car fades to the left and it's a pretty hard pull there. See that? Getting into the brakes. Not too bad. Definitely manual. Make sure the paperwork doesn't fly out. Our speedometer is not working. It's not too bad when you get into that throttle, you can feel the whole car just lean back. Front end. <laughs> I like it. Still, left pull on that steering wheel. Every time I let go. Gas gauge is buried on heat. Let's go up here and see if it works. I'll put in about $30 worth of premium fuel. And of course, we'll check the gauge as soon as I get done doing that. Let's do it. I'll be right back. All right, $30 with the premium fuel in this ride here. It sucks you can't get that window down. Looks so much better with the top all the way down. With all the windows down. It's just come off track there, so it's not going to move. Um, put your gas in right here behind this. It's got a good spring in it. Of course, coming through the car here. Door opens easy. Does the gauge work? I don't know, but it definitely took all $30. And I'm gonna say it does, let's see. It's gonna come up. Oh man, let's give the car a little shake here. Oh look, it jumped up, hold up. You gonna keep going or not? Shaking it again. If anything changes, I'll let you know, but right now it's not moving from where it was. Let's roll.
Okay, getting ready to take off. Went ahead and did the walk around, pointed out chips, scratches, you know, whatever I could find. This car was pretty clean all the way around. We're getting ready to take off down the road now. Let's go ahead here. So you pull up, you push down one. So yeah, she's been staying nice and cool. She's sitting at right at 200 the whole time. It's fairly warm today, so it's about average what it needs to be. Still got that left pull in the steering. I'm having to turn a little bit right as we're driving. Need a little bit of attention to that. vibration there coming from the glove box that's what you were hearing a second ago as far as suspension and smoothness it's nice we got a decent little bump coming up here in the middle of the road got to manually turn off your turn signals right here Nice and smooth. That's your vibration there. Little cricket sounds coming from the dash. <laughs> bit of a hesitation when it shifts from first to second pulling into the lot now guys I hope you enjoyed the test drive I've got more to make today stick around for picking out the flaws coming up next have a good one Okay, picking out the flaws. Let's go ahead and get started. 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Coming around the front end on this one. So your grill's got a little bit of haziness coming up. You can tell. It's got some age on it. Front bumper's the same way. With cracks in the chrome. Down your lower portion here. Not too bad. A little scuff there. And around the edge we're gonna go down this lower side first tires are in good shape up and over the fenders here a little bit of pitting on your trim the side of the car there in this lower portion a little scratch there at the bottom tires are in good shape on the back as well so we got the nipples on the side Back your midsection, you got a little bit of pitting popping up on that chrome bumper in the back. Chrome up here on the door handle. Get a few little bubbles popping up. Light scuffs right here in the front over this fender
grill looks pretty good right below the windshield you do have some of this rubber here getting some cracks in it it's the seal all the way around the windshield there's some light scratches from the windshield wipers in the middle there looks like a chip right here another light scratch going up that way in the other windshield wiper rubber's a little dry here window looks good like i said this one came off track i felt like it came off track right there at the beginning too because it, it started moving and now it's just spinning pitting on your trim coming up on the back your trim here again a little bit of pitting showing age back bumper on this one light scuffs dual exhaust coming out both sides the seal in the trunk looks good your jams look good in the back that seal's been replaced the trunk itself's in great shape Package tray up here, pretty solid. Trunk lid, they paint it over your insulation. Coming on down with it. Shuts easy. Light scuffs up here. Missed the keyhole, I guess. Kind of see it's raised up a little bit on the back. Little chips. Coming down this side, lower portion. Pitting right here on some of your trim. A little hazy spot there on that clip on the front. A little scuff here. Chip. Bit of pitting on your door handle. Trim's a little hazy around this back. A little crumbly there around the vent window, coming around the front windshield now. You got a crease here. Scratch coming across. chip there hazy right here in your mirror let's go ahead and check out that interior door panel on this one looks good you can see it's been replaced the seals in good shape Your jams, beautiful looking. Chip there. 
Carpet's been replaced. It's in great shape. The seat, nice and clean. Back seat, same thing. Jump it off in here. Starts up good. Oil pressure gauge is low on this one. it actually is it's just not showing anything right now but the motor sounds good it feels good it's tight very responsive your temp gauge is up and your battery gauge is charging well, that's what it's showing so we try this radio i think we did earlier it's all the way up not working air freshener in there we can open it without the key put the key in it i wonder if i'm coming up Aha. Missing the box on the back side of it. Gas gauge never came up. It does float around as we were driving, but it's not past E. And it definitely would have been closer to half a tank. Quiet. Runs pretty smooth. nice and clean on this and coming down with this hood wow come down pretty quick a little bit of resistance not very much did it we got some chemical pill here on the front end on that front clip you can see it where it was bad prep it's the only spot i've seen of that on the car i sure hope you enjoyed the video i tried my best to point out anything that i've seen on this car and I'll continue to do so. Hit subscribe, join the channel, and share these videos. That helps me out quite a bit. Again, that helps me and keeps me doing this every day. Go to maplemotors.com for finance and shipping detailed pictures. And every Monday, I'll put out about 10 to 15 new classic American muscle cars. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.